Hey guys, I'm Mac Helper here. Today I'm going to do a comparison review between two battery stat applications. One is coconut battery, which is made by coconutflavor.com, and the other is FIP Labs Battery Health. So let's start with some background. Coconut battery is freeware made by a guy named Chris at coconutflavor.com. Battery Health is free on the Mac App Store. At the time of this video, it's ranked 15th on the top free apps list. The reason I decided to make this video is because I wonder if Battery Health is an original idea or if it's a copy of Coconut Battery. Now before I start, I have to say I'm not associated with FIP Lab or Coconut Flavor. I'm in no way making accusations against either of these companies. All I'm doing is stating the very obvious similarities I've noticed. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with Coconut Battery. The latest version of Coconut Battery 2.7.2 works on both uh, MacBook Pro and Air running uh, 10.5 Leopard or higher. And then for older Mac uh, such as iBooks and PowerBooks running 10.4 Tiger, uh, it has version 2.6.6. .6. Now, the unique features of Coconut Battery is that uh, it allows you to save the current battery data for later review. So, if you click this arrow right here, um, you can save and you can remember what the max capacity was at that time. Um, and then another unique feature it gives um, is the Mac model data right there. Um, now, battery health. Um, it works on uh, any Mac computer running 10.6 Snow Leopard or higher. Um, it does have several unique features that Coconut Battery does not have. It has a tab with uh, basic computer tips uh, right here uh, for saving your battery life. As you can see right there, there's quite a few tips, but most of them are very basic. Um, uh, it also uh, has detailed information about how long the battery will last using internet browsing, music, movies, and standby. Um, and then it also gives the charge percentage in decimals instead of giving them in rounded numbers. And then finally, it has a M. AS usage information and that's right here and what that is is milliamp hours usage and then also has this window right here displaying how much battery is currently being used um, and that sums up the unique features of the two programs now let's move on to the similarities there are several features that are the same uh, some are just called different things uh, current charge is the same on both then you have a uh, current max which is the same as uh, maximum sorry current sorry right here maximum charge is the same as current max right here then original max is the same as uh, design capacity and then the battery cycles are the same so you have cycles right here and that's the same as battery cycles then you've got uh, the ages um, where they're the same. It looks like one says it's a little bit older, but pretty much the same. And then the temperature is the same, except uh, battery health uses Celsius and coconut battery uses Fahrenheit. And now that I've given you the information I can about these two programs, it's really up to you to decide if one worked off the other. Personally, I believe that the UI between these two is too similar. To me, it looks exactly the same. Um, I've been trying to find when battery health was first added to the App Store, but so far I've come up empty. All I know is that Coconut Battery has been available since before the App Store was created. So to make it easy to see the differences, I've made this graphic to compare them. Uh, feel free to stop this video to take a look at it. Well, I believe that this video has gone on long enough. But before I go, I'd like to take a moment to ask you to subscribe. Also, go check out my other videos. I have a great tutorial on how to prank your friends and another on how to create your own Wi-Fi computer using your Mac.
Well, this video has gone on longer than I intended. This is iMac Helper signing off. Until next time, have a good one, guys.